What do you want? Yeah. One. Yeah. Get the mute dead. My bad. Oh, I didn't mean to invite you to trade.
Oh, shh. Aha. What a trick. I have to do this to find out if I have duplicates because it's way too hard to figure out on my own. No easy way to sort this. Ah, like this. I just researched it. Actually, I probably should have researched the other one, but whatever. High King's hmm. Very interesting. Hey, what's up? Kama. How you doing, man? You're the legend. I'm just a guy who can make uh, wax radishes. Too bad I can't have cabbages. Oh yeah, I, I just started up, but Sundays are my days. Oh, hi cat. Pet your cat for me, please. My cat is sitting behind the door for some reason. Oh, what are you doing? You sleeping? Just sitting there. Hold on, I'm gonna find her. Oh. Just a dude playing a dude. What's up, higher polarity? Disguised as another dude. She said something. She's just chilling. Just chilling. Like cats do. <laughs> Dreaming of spaghetti and meatballs. Hey, what's up, SXR Rebellion? How you doing? What is going on today, everybody? Demand the cat. Kitty! Come here! Hang on. I'm getting the cat. Here she is. Usually she's always jumping up on the table because I want her to be here. Now she finally wants to mind her own business. Okay. She's, she's not in the mood to be on camera. <laughs> That's her I'm pissed off sound. I'm sorry.
Internet law. Well, my other cat, he's just sleeping, so I'm not gonna go wake him up. He is only interested in food. He's a he's a chungus wannabe. If I would feed him as much as he want, he would never, ever stop eating. He would put Garfield to shame. Oh, I'm doing great today, uh, Rebellion. Can I just call you Rebellion or Rebel? It's, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the dads. Um, I'm going to go see my dad here at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and then uh, eat some some Chinese food. It's going to be awesome. Rebellion. That's cool. Hell yeah. So what's everybody else doing today? Oh yeah, hell yeah, man. So do you, do you stream as well? I'm always down to help out. Are you from uh, Vicious Society? Or are you from, from Colors? I don't even know what BSTE stands for. Something standard time. Ah, okay, cool, cool. I'm not sure if I, I try to, you know, catch random streams in there on the going live, but you know, if somebody if somebody joins me, I'll I'll usually make a, a special case to follow them and uh, check their shit out. Hey, what's up, Prinny? How you doing? Prinny, he's a he's a cool dude. He likes to stream um, some Kingdom Hearts, British Summertime. Oh, nice! You're from England. Hell yeah! I know Prinny. He's trying to make it to uh, affiliate as well. Have you made it there yet? I know you're close. He's back. I'm not gonna get anything done here. I'm just gonna. Play with the cat and talk to people. <laughs> yeah, let me uh let me uh drop you a follow right now, Rebellion. Let's see, what do you what do you normally I'll see a thieves. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Rocket League. Player unknowns. Oh, and golf with your friends. I've I've not seen that yet, but that sounds I've heard good things. Ah oh, no, it's it's all good. It's all good. You're here, you're hanging out. That's all that matters. Rage inducing. Oh. <laughs> From golf? I don't know. I guess golf can be frustrating. There was another golf game on Steam that looked pretty cool. Oh, you made it yesterday? Hell yeah, Prinny. That's awesome. I hope I am saying your name right, by the way. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, you've inspired me to want to play some uh, Kingdom Hearts myself. That shit looks fun. I remember playing it back in the day on PS2, but I never really played much of 2. 
beat the first one. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah. It's always a good time. Alright, so let's uh... What am I trying to do here? Gotta open up all these bags of junk. I craft junk to get more junk. But it makes me money. What are you doing, kitty? Where you wanna go? I did just buy like uh Dark Souls 2 and 3 on Steam today because they are on sale, so I may start playing that soon. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, there was like a golf game on Switch that looked cool too. Like, not golf with friends though. Golf story or something. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Rebellion. No, I think Dark Souls, like, people are always like, oh, Dark Souls, that game's really hard. And I'm like, have you ever played classic Nintendo? Have you ever played, like, literally any game on Nintendo besides uh, I can remember and call her a dinosaur I'm pretty sure 90% of those games are harder than Dark Souls because I mean at least in Dark Souls you have save points very few NES games you just you know you got like two lives you get hit once and you're dead and and then that's it you gotta start over legendary every one of us hell yeah couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, Battle Toads. That was rough. The part with like where the crazy music starts and you're riding on them like cars and you gotta dodge walls back and forth. I hated it. But then I swear I was playing that one day and I was on the car thing, dying over and over again, and I like crashed into a wall and then somehow I was just like magically transported farther in the game. I swear I wasn't looking up any cheat codes, but I was just like, what just happened? I thought I was dead, but I like, I just like skipped five levels. It was weird. And then there was, uh, I, I like the Battle to Double Dragon crossover. That was really cool. There was like a level where you could grab the, the legs off of those robots and just like literally beat people through the floor and they'd pop out on the other side. <laughs> Such good games. I, offer many. I thought I read they were like remaking or making a new Battletoad game actually. So that's, that sounds pretty sweet. I'll definitely buy it if so. I've always been wanting to get the, the rare replay for for the Xbox, but I never have. Hopefully it's really cheap now. It's like Battletoads and Conker's Bad Fur Day and a bunch of good shit. Well. Protect your favorite one. I'm sorry, Kam. I think I missed your stream last night. You did one around eight, didn't you?
I think it was playing the forest. Yeah, I just, I replied to that and said, uh, so you're playing Diablo 3 right now instead of playing this with me. We could have done a dungeon. Oh yeah, Prinny. Sorry, I I just read your comment. Yeah, the the random people joining on Dark Souls and killing you do suck. I think you can you can turn that off or just play offline. Like you can still play if you're not online and nobody can mess with you. Um also, if you're if you're dead in Dark Souls, like if you're not if you don't take humanity or whatever i don't think people can invade you then so if you're like the all withered up dried bacon looking guy you're safe don't know if you've been out to dragon bridge yet but i'm off duty from there ah okay yeah yeah i'm sure a lot of people have plans today so it's cool that you're all hanging out here with me instead I'm not even a real dad, but I pretend to be sometimes. I mean, even, I think if you look at the, the guild rules here, for Nightwings, um, started by dads for dads who play the game. Dads may or may not have kids. So, I, I I wasn't even me that made that up. So, I can't be the only one that thinks that way. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's because I don't really either. I just say things. Seventy-five out of one ten. I think I can now venture into the outside world. I have enough inventory space to last me for 10 minutes. Okay, where is the Hall of the Dead anyways? Oh, I don't even have to go outside the town. We saw the storm break, but we heard nothing since you departed from Blackreach. I regret we didn't throw a parade to welcome you back, but I'll cheer it up for a hundred souls if you tell me you put that backbiter of a high king to the sword. But what is Svana? Is she? Uh, not yet, but I think I'm getting close. I just... There was a big plot twist. Um, probably some spoilers if you're worried about that kind of stuff. Um, and That's good. I don't know, there's only like one or two more big bad guys left, I think. For whatever that's worth, she's going to need all the help she can get in the days to come. Not until we hold a moot to support her claim, and we need more than a single yard for that to occur. If Svana proves herself as the acting yard, she might look past her father's failings. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how predictable that was. I kind of thought, yeah, maybe. There's got to be a reason why this guy's just a complete uh, dickhead the whole time, right? None good, but none bad either. My wife knows better than anyone how to care for our people. I trust she and my things protect and care for Morthal in my absence. We seem to have survived, thank the gods. I thought for certain we were all about to witness the end of the world. Who 
thanks to Svargrim, damn his eyes. After you and the princess went off to Blackreach, I gathered whoever we could and made our stand here in the Hall of the Dead. I'm just glad we don't have to be permanent residents. Far fewer than I feared when the storm began. Thanks to you and the princess, with the storm over and the Grey Host driven from Castle Dower, my soldiers will get the city back into shape. As long as no one else attacks us in the meantime. I think I did get a uh, a crate from watching my own stream the other day, actually. So the drops do work. If anybody else does play this game. I don't know if drops are available this weekend or not, but I don't know. Hopefully you get something. If you have your, like, uh... When, when drops are available, you have to have your Elder Scrolls Online account linked to your Twitch. And you get these free uh, crates. This one welcomes you back. Farewell, my good friend. Oh, why? I didn't like the mushrooms that one that much. The new ones sounded cooler. Um... I mean, what's 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 even out now? What can I get with the gems? No, no, it's uh, uh that thing looks cool. Zombie cat. Well, uh, then you can be, uh, the guy from Mortal Kombat there. Baraka, is that his name? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing there. Oh. Yeah, what's wrong with this guy? He's a little funny dude. Scorpion, no thanks. Oh, Sphinx cat. I like the eyes. Eh, goats. From Goat Simulator. The MMO expansion pack. Another bat, I already got a bat. Two different bats, that's cool. I don't need one. Maybe if the, oh, the snow bat, that one looks different. Oh. Not that. That's alright. Not really. Yeah, I like, oh, the bear is pretty cool. I think I'd go with the zombie cat. White horse, who cares? Oh, well. Yeah, these are pretty. Oh, damn. I like the horse. And the wolf. These are all pretty cool. I don't know. I like him. I like him better than the mushroom ones. Oh, I better uh, actually do something interesting here. Hopefully there's a big battle between the vampires. right now speak to the skull king before we start a war sure shame me from fool prophet will no one properly greet a weary traveler you don't look like one of these western mill drinkers tell them we're not a damn invasion we're here to help maybe you can tell me what's going on 
So the rumors are as true. Svargrin joined the Grey Holt. I knew he had ambitions, but to throw away his humanity like that, it's inconceivable. Svargrin once told me that he would die before welcoming me to solitude. I suppose he was right. Yeah, well, I'll definitely have to get some crates next week. What are the legendary mounts? If they refuse my help. Svargrin despised me. He would never accept my aid. But Svarna... Ah, here she comes now. Let's see what she has to say. We have no need of help that involves welcoming your soldiers within our walls. <laughs> my walls, Yanni. My father may have been willing to slap aside a helping hand, but I'm not. Permit me a word with your envoy, Skull King. Thank you for holding the line for me. I am ready to do what I should have done a long time ago. To do what my father never could. I'll speak with the Skald King. There's one more thing I'd like you to do while I entertain our guests. We saved Solitude, but our war with the Grey Host is far from over. We need Fen's Elixir more than ever. With that, and King Joran's help, we might just push these monsters back into their grave for good. Check on Fen's progress, please. That depends on Fen. If there's anything standing in his way, let me know. And I'll do everything in my power to get him what he needs. Fen is with old Mjolin at the Mage's Guild. When you're finished with him, join me in the courtyard of the Blue Palace. I'm going to hold a moment of remembrance for this city. We all need a moment to mourn what we lost. I'm going to invite the Scald King to join us. If the people of Solitude see him bow his head along with the rest of us, they may not care about the divide between the East and the West. It's hard for me to focus on this game. I, all I can think about is how much I want to eat cheese wontons later. I'm so hungry. Is it just me or are the bookshelves in gray more like harder to look at? I have to be like precise. Before it was like you just point in the general direction of them. This guy upstairs or downstairs? I can't tell. I don't care. I don't want to talk to you. I want to read your books. You need to find them, but they have one when summon comes out of fire lightning that's sick I don't have anything that cool I got some pretty boring mounts on this game I had some cool ones on the xbox so. where the fuck is Finn is he downstairs he must be downstairs to find an elf with the makings of a clever woman. Despite what my kin might proclaim, it's not all in the world. Good, you're here. We've made a break. I was just discussing a theory with Mjolin, and it seems like we're very close to turning this elixir into a true restorative. A cure 
Singolus' research on the nether root showed me just how it weakens the connection between a body and its soul. Thus far, I've been able to inure a person to the root, but now I'm certain I can use that knowledge to heal those weakened bonds. Well, it is just a theory at this point. There's a lot more testing and experimentation to be done before we can produce a viable antidote. Weeks, optimistically? I know, I know. We can't simply put things on hold. Mjoland and I have a batch brewing right now, and materials to keep producing for another day. Ingert promised us a steady supply of Arke's oil, but that's not our limiting factor. We know enough about Singolus's refinement processes to replicate his methods, but we still need a source of netherroot to do so. Tell Svana that if she can keep us supplied, we can produce enough elixir for all the holds in a matter of weeks. Sign up for my free pet. How do I do that? We can ransack Greyhost's stockpiles or mount an expedition into Blackridge. Otherwise, it would take decades of work to produce a proper crop. After we get the elixir squared away, we'll turn our attention to curing the Herod. Indeed. As I surmised, the Grey Reliquaries contained the remains of ancient Greyhost warriors. They served as a connection to the souls trapped in Cold Hollow. Using the energy from the Harrow Storms, the souls were pulled into the Stone Husks. I believe the Stone Husks are incubators of a sort. The physical forms of the Grey Host are reincorporated within the Stone Vessels through a mix of Zingolus's alchemy and sorcery and the magic of the Ice Reach Witches. When whole, they burst free. A lot of talking, no action yet. I feel like that's how the, most of the main quests are. A lot, of, a lot of dialogue before you actually get to fighting. I was hoping you'd return before we began. Tell me you've got good news. I am feel a lot better delivering a speech about healing and hope knowing that we're on the road to recovery what did Fen have to say about the elixir yeah oh, okay that's cool the best news but I take it I think I had a regular dwarven spider on Xbox I think you just get that in game for beating a dungeon myself if that's what it takes now that would be cause for celebration if you can really bring back even a fraction of those we lost to the hero storms, I'm willing to try. That's all I needed to hear. We should begin the ceremony before the crowd grows more restless. Nothing fancy, just a traditional Nord wake. To mourn and celebrate those we've lost, and cherish the lives we still have. I'd like you to join us. None of us would be here to sing dirges for the dead or celebrate the living if not for you. I certainly wouldn't be here. Ready to leave my home. You've supported me since I started down this path. I'm honored to have you here with me. Sons and daughters of Skyrim, we have the honor today of remembering the dead. Honor, honor to the fallen. Sons and daughters of Skyrim, our trials were. That is true. Actually, things on fire are hotter. I don't know if you know much of the ways of science like I do. But I'm pretty sure that is true. Oh, this is my jam. I speak in dad jokes. Alright. Uh, 
Ingfrid the Tall. Oh, man. I think I need some more coffee. Getting closer to moving now, right? How many days? Oh, wow, well, she's clear down there. Orcs bounce. Yeah, I drink out of this. I feel like I need either some like red or blue Kool Aid. Is this like a Lord of the Rings cup? Make it look like a potion. Uh oh, they forgot the ground. Oh, this sucks. Ah, no person either. He's not. Hmm. Wait, so was that it? That was really the main quest? I don't get to kill the big vampire dude. I'm kind of unhappy about that. I see he's like the boss in a dungeon somewhere. I don't know if they normally do that kind of thing. It just seems like... It's anticlimactic. I mean, it was cool fighting the king and all. Unless I missed something. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. I guess that's it. That's Greymore. Not too sad though, because usually I find the side quests in these games a lot more fun. Watch your back. It was definitely that way with Elsewhere.
Hold on! 27 geo crates, 50 pickaxes, 5 wheelbarrows, 42 fresh surrogates. Okay, yeah, there's a lot to do, so I don't have much time. What is it? You saying she's dead? Damn. She was a fine looking orc, huh? Shame that happened. She, uh, leave a note or anything? Not like in that way, but maybe she had some feelings for me. I know she fancied me, even if she didn't say so. Oh, it was that damn Kelvar, wasn't it? Always mooning over her. Never thought she'd be stupid enough to fall for him. Well, just give me the samples. I'll pay you for the time. You take your money and get out of here. A shame in Guyo won't be coming around anymore. I liked when she was nearby, if you know what I mean. Fuck off, pal. No time for useless chat. I thought you just said fuck off. Oh, boo-hoo. Mining is expensive and hard. It's even harder down here. Miners only survive when they're tough. How about you take your friendly and move along? Okay, so what's next to do here? My horse is still so slow. Am I going back to the surface? It's really confusing how they show you like the same icons no matter if you're underground or not. Oh, that's just a barrel. It's okay. Oh, I fucked up. But I'll still get there. I still have one more delve to do. I need to find that. How long do you think it'll take me as a tank to just queue up for a random dungeon? It shouldn't take much longer than it takes us uh, when we queue up together, right? You don't look sick. You there. Are you seeking refuge from the affliction too? 
This is a safe haven for those of us with werewolf blood who haven't been infected. If you require sanctuary, this is the best chance you'll get. You don't know? Some kind of disease has spread throughout Blackreach. It's turning werewolves mad. Feral, almost. And our only hope to find a cure vanished without a trace. Alchemist Razir said he was close to developing one and then disappeared. Tranya can tell you more. She's down below in the caverns with the others, putting together an effort to search for him. Please, if you can spare any help, we'd be grateful. The affliction comes sudden, with no apparent cause. I think this cursed place is driving us mad. If it weren't for the other refugees still coming to Darkmoon Grotto for aid, I would head for the surface and not look back. My pack was forced into servitude by an alliance of vampires and werewolves. Enslaved in a black castle, we toiled alongside others and endured horrible experiments. If it wasn't for Tranya and Skor, I would still be there. They got a bunch of us out. With their strength and experience, we were able to break away from our captors and escape. They've created a safe haven for us here, in the aftermath. When we escaped Greymoor Keep, Tranya and Skor set up a sanctuary in the grotto. It was a safe place for those of us who had been freed to rest and regroup. Since the disease, however, we're not welcome in the grotto. We've made do in these caves. Alright, so it's right by the way, Shrine. That's cool. Haha, <laughs> auto run, one pay attention. Let me just check something real quick. Okay. Making sure the stream still looks good. you want me to go? No. This is confusing. Oh yeah, take care, you too. Hope you have a good day, man. Thanks for thanks for watching.
Take home Ezreal. You will find Alchemist Nadir. What if he's already dead? He slipped in the treasure too. It's only a matter of time. Are you fleeing from the affliction as well? If you are lost in the darkness, know that you are safe here with us. Yes, it's horrible. The afflicted are compelled to transform and then become violent, almost feral. We were close to finding a cure, but our alchemist, Asir, went missing. I fear something terrible may have happened. I'm not sure, but it's not like alchemist Razir not to report back. My partner, Sior, ran off to find him. I worry for him too. I want to search for them, but it's unwise to travel alone. I need an ally. Our non werewolf allies barricaded themselves within the grotto. I need to speak with them and see if anyone might have seen where Razira was last headed. I don't think they'll be eager to speak to me, but perhaps you can get them to talk. Don't judge them too harshly. They're just afraid. We know very little about the disease. Our allies are afraid that we could turn on them at any moment. It's a valid concern. We left the grotto to ease their concerns and keep them safe. Not as much as I'd like. It strikes quickly and indiscriminately. Those who fall ill are consumed by an unnatural violent rage. Nothing seems to get through to them. Their minds completely deteriorate. Very. A friend of mine started showing symptoms a week before she was lost entirely. Others succumb overnight. I couldn't save them, but I will do what I can for those who remain. Alchemist Razir was close to a cure. I must find him. Soon after our escape from our captors, my pack was enslaved and experimented upon by a sinister alliance of vampires and werewolves that inhabit Blackreach. They held us in a place called Greymore Keep and conducted horrible tests on our kind. Sior convinced me to fight back. He and I eventually overpowered our captors and got our people out. We hid out here and formed a community with others that had been subjected to the torture. We thought our troubles were over. How foolish we were. No idea where to go. Um Okay. You're not sick, are you? Be careful. If you hang around Tranlet and have time long enough, that might change. I'm truly sorry, but we can't risk letting anyone in. It's too dangerous. We can't have more people getting sick. You're still missing? God, Razir believes the violent werewolves were the result of an infection, one that he could cure. 
to vent out in search of one final ingredient to test for his latest recipe, and never return. No, but I know he took his notes with him when he left. Perhaps if you look for clues, there might be a trail to lead you to him. We want the cure found just as much as the others. Please, find Rasir. He can fix all of you. Good. I hope he's all right. He's a brave man. Almost as soon as we heard Rasir was missing, Skor was asking after him. I told him the same thing I told you. We haven't seen him since then. He must still be out searching. I don't know how he's still standing, much less trying to find Rasir. He looked exhausted. His worry for Rasir seemed to take precedence, however. It's not unlike him. He's always protecting everyone else. He sometimes forgets to protect himself. Okay. Find Razir. I can't I look in the backpack. Those must be Razir's things. Let's keep looking up the ridge. There is a fire up by those rooms. Maybe Razir set up camp there. Journal pages. Quickly, let's see if we can find another. That looks like it might be the last of them. No sign of Razir himself, but his journal should at least give us a clue as to where he went. What does it say? That's comforting. He must have been fairly confident to attempt the test. Impossible to say, but I hope with all my heart that he was. The cavern he writes about is nearby. We have a lead. Let's investigate. We need to get to the cavern quickly and see if Razir is there. It's funny. He's always been the strong one. I did awful things to him at Greymoor Keep, but he never broke. It spiraled me when I felt like giving up. I'm not totally sure doesn't talk about it much. I knew they experimented on him more than the rest of us, because he was the strongest. He said they altered his body, made him take on strange mutations. It makes me sick to think of it. I think I have some skill points. I got one skill point, I forgot. And what do I want to use it on? Okay. I need to morph wall of elements. But to what? Blockade. Increases size and duration. Wall explodes. Do blockade.
I understand why it seems so much better. Alright. The cavern inventory is still good. Oh yeah, run away. Asshole. The rage. When I fell ill, I felt this all-consuming fury. I had no control over myself. My body was not my own. I've never felt so helpless. But Razir cured me. My head feels clear again. I don't remember much, just the rage. When I woke from it, Razir stood over me. He was ecstatic, babbling about his cure being a success. Before I could ask him anything, we were attacked by Skjord. It all happened so fast. He ran. Skjord chased after him. Looked to me like they went east. I wanted to help, but I'm too could barely stand. I lost track of him after that. I don't know if he survived, but please, you have to look for him. His cure works. Be careful. Skewer's changed. He is no longer the man he once was. The disease has completely destroyed his mind. He won't hesitate to kill you. All right, well, I gotta cook clear over here now, and then hopefully we'll finally uh, see some action. Where is Razir? Down this way. Still don't see anybody. What? Talk to him. This game just wants to be uh, glitchy today, I guess. Unless he's like underneath here somewhere ah oh all right no still not here where is he there's his laundry Oh, I got a corn flower, but I can't find Razir. Okay, he's invisible. 
This is the, and I can't hear him. <laughs> What's going on? Unless his affliction is that he is a tub of laundry and he's speaking to me telepathically. That makes sense. Ah. Thank you, please don't let my work go to waste. One. The cure. I bet the cure is Tide Pods. Oh, there's a note. My bad. Mm -hmm. Find the platform on the lake. Thank the gods. Wait a minute, what? Okay. Oh, there's two of them, but none of him. Thank you, friend. I'm glad to see you still breathe. What did he tell you? Good. Once we have the cure, we can stop the affliction from spreading. While you collect it, I'll get Razira safely back to the grotto. Meet us there when you obtain the cure. All right. The cure. Swim north between two pillars. Okay. Except none of that matters. Because I have a compass. I need the Nern roots. I just, I can't not pick up Nern roots. The, it's like they call to me. Very hypnotizing. I think in Oblivion, the Nern Roots were limited. But not in Skyrim, except for the Crimson Nern Roots. And now in this game, there's plenty of both. Oh boy, more notes, wow. The rightmost mound. There's only one mound. Hey, what's up, comma? Still hanging out, I see. Appreciate it. So I think now I'm I'm off to find the magic tide pods to cure the basket of laundry. Cozy. So what what exactly I know all these people will have cozy streams, does it just mean like really laid back and chill or is there a absolute definition of that? So what uh co co carnage always does. 
I guess this is pretty cozy, right? I have cats. The cats make it cozy. Get the fuck out of here. Always cozy. I should put that in the about me. Always cozy here. Oh, hey. Whoa! That guy's fast. Good vibes. Great times. Oh, that is, that is from Co Carnage, isn't it? Nice. What a cool dude. I remember watching him one day and like people were complaining because he was playing Fallout 76 and they're like, I'm going to unsubscribe. He's like, you should. You should not even think about it. Just unsubscribe now, please. He was just telling everybody to unsubscribe from him. Like he, he definitely doesn't deal with people being douchebags. Hell yeah, that's cool. Ah, uh, thanks for the follow, Pulse Moto. What is up? <laughs> oh, you saw that too, yeah. I did get Fallout 76 on the on the computer. I played it a little bit. I'll probably play some more on stream sometime, but I like it. I know it gets lots of hate, and you know Bethesda. You can say what you want about them, but <laughs> they they might have done some questionable things. But it, it's kind of fun now with the NPCs and all. So what are you uh, doing today, Pulse? I do appreciate the follow. We're just uh, chilling here today, running around Greymoor. I did beat the main quest. So I'm just finishing up some side quests here. And after after I'm done with Greymore, I'm not sure what I'll do. Oh no. I got a Yoden little lady. Hell yeah. Today is a wonderful day. So Kama, were you were you streaming some more uh, Persona 4 yesterday? Score run through here, chasing after Rasia. Some of us tried to fight. Nice. Her, but he's too powerful. He couldn't help Rasia. And now I fear Are you, you asking me if I will be working? Okay, nice, nice. Game does look pretty awesome. Uh, no, I'm not working today. I don't. I don't work on Saturdays, Sundays, fortunately. Just Monday through Friday, <clears throat> nine to five. So I usually try to stream before or after that on the on the weekdays and then on the weekends. Whenever. I'm pretty much. Mostly, I don't, I don't have much of a schedule, but I'm pretty much always on around 10 a.m. Eastern time for, uh, for my Sunday stream. Pretty much always do Sundays. 
I do have more free time on Sundays, but I am going to go uh, see my dad here. I'll probably have to leave around a little bit after noon. Yeah, I do. I do get a bunch of free time. I've been slacking lately, but I'm going to try to stick to at least streaming in the mornings more often now. Do you, do you have a schedule? No schedule? Yeah. We're just... We're just a couple of wild stallions. No schedules. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Actually, I, uh, that's that's probably rude of me to say. Horses may well indeed have schedules, very strict schedules, for all I know. 8 a.m. Eat hay. 8:30. Uh, make some Mr. Ed jokes. Nine o'clock. Gallop into the sunset. Nine o'clock. Uh, p.m. That is. Not a.m. Because that wouldn't make sense. I, I almost screwed up there. But I fixed it. Dude, these wolves don't even know that I'm Team Edward. Watch out. Oh, there's a big Bazingus here. Holy shit. Dude, I was never that big when I was a werewolf in Skyrim. This guy looks like he ate a couple of plates of spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, you know, I always forget to eat food in this game. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I don't know. I was just... I was probably, like, staring to the camera and, like... Just like I don't know, I'll just be like I don't I don't know. I don't know guys. I'll just I'll be nervous, probably. I don't know. I'll just like just film my life. It'll just be me here eating spaghetti and meatballs all day. Try to help out some other people. What about you? What are you gonna do? Yeah, if, if I don't know, if 1K were watching me, I would be like, I know I'd be like checking my pulse. I'd, I would start like thinking about my breathing so I couldn't breathe naturally. Did I do that when I have like 10 viewers? What are you, <laughs> what are you talking about? Maybe I'll get used to it. I can't help but grieve for the man he was. Damn all of Greymore Keep for what they did to us. I'll survive. Now I feel like that's why, like, being on YouTube is... You know, you, you're not as nervous on YouTube, probably. But you have to... Probably have more of a, a script wrote out as well. You gotta know what you're doing. I think I think if I had like a thousand people watching me on the rig, I would just I would just have to drink a lot more. That would always help me calm my nerves. My hands don't shake if I if I drink. So if you were like, you know, like a partner, what would you do? You know, if you're, if you're a big famous guy like 
Call Carnage or Asmongold or somebody. I feel like you should be famous. Nor will I let this tragedy sour the dream store and I created here. Take this. We don't have much to offer, but we will never forget what you did for us. I will more skill. You at least put some work into your YouTube videos. I just upload whatever. Like I'm so lazy with uploading YouTube videos. That's why I just strictly mentioned this is archives. It's nothing special. There's no editing here. And uh, I'm just like, I, I'm just like, oh, I gotta upload this. I'll like upload like nine videos at once because I, I slack. I'll be like, oh, I gotta put tags in this. Usually I just like copy and paste tags from old videos. I'm like, oh, that's good enough. <laughs> yeah yeah that's always awesome to do that's what I was trying to do the other day but only had like 5 viewers and then it was like a follower only stream which I'm not trying to talk crap on anybody that does that but I just feel like I couldn't do that Unless you're just like, like a huge streamer that has like a billion people and you just want to cut down on random BS joining in there. But even then, like, it just doesn't seem right. I want people to talk to me. <laughs> I was just playing things in reverse. <laughs> I don't know if it's special effects. Like, I would just... I would just literally film everything in reverse when I was a kid. Because I figured out I could do it on, like, the, the PS3 or whatever. I'm like, oh. Filming things in reverse is, like, the coolest thing ever. And I would just, like, film myself... Eating a pepperoni roll in reverse, so it's just like I was making a pepperoni roll appear out of my mouth, and then I would just be like, "That's that's pretty cool." I want to make some more YouTube videos, but not just like gaming. I don't know. Maybe like a short film. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I've made some pretty bad videos on YouTube, though. I'm not gonna lie. They're pretty cringy. Some of them are funny. There's, like, a couple where I'm just, like, asleep in the background while my friend is, like, filming shit on my, on my PS3. That was when I still lived with my parents, so it's kind of weird, but they're funny videos. There's some guy that keeps um, telling me to make a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! Grandfather 2. But I don't know how to do it because I lost the McDonald's toy that my friend made that video with. Pretty much time to go back. 
to town. Maybe one day I, I will get that, uh, the yellow, uh, morph suit, like I said, and I just go around town screaming unacceptable at people. I need to get, like, a yellow morph suit and then, like, a, like, a black, uh, I don't know, it's almost like black jumpsuit or something to wear over top of it and then make a a sound sword <laughs> it'll be easier to make a fool of myself in public if I'm already wearing a costume I used to do that kind of stuff all the time in high school, like, me and my friend, we would just go to the mall and act, act like we're insane. Causing mass confusion, but, like, now that I'm older, it's harder to do that. I love I love the one where um where pink guy is in the like McDonald's or something and there's just like this little kid with her family eating McDonald's at the table and he like throws these like balls across the floor and he just screams the dark lord is here and that kid is just like Whoa. He's just like what is happening like, those are the kind of videos I want to make. Hamburger, please! I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> if you look up the best of pink guy, it's on there. He's just like crawling around on the ground with hamburger wrappers. <laughs> That's so good. Then on the other hand, you watch like those, those cake videos and I'm just like, how can someone do that? Like, he's just, he's just not human. He can't be 100% human. Like, I just don't understand how you could do that. This is the most disgusting shit. And it scares me a little. Like, it's like... Partially respect and partially fear. <laughs> yeah, okay. he had like some like children's Spider-Man <laughs> glasses or something I think that he wore. But yeah, I could get that. I mean, see I didn't want to say that because I'm... I don't want to sound like racist or something. Is that... Is that racist to say that? Okay, I don't I don't really I don't really think so either, but I I'm sure someone would say that. <laughs> I 
I saw that like there were my friend showed me that there was like some dude who kind of took over being filthy Frank, and it was kind of weird. But I mean, I mean, he wasn't. He, he did a pretty good job, I suppose. I don't know if he actually has like uh, you know Frank's blessing or or Joji or whatever you want to call him now. I was definitely sad that he stopped making videos, but I mean, I, I get it. That shit's probably hard to do with uh, maintaining your sanity. I mean, it's cool. He's definitely famous now, but I, I, I will always miss his videos. Jejoro, the Kepa, the Nata. Jejoro, the Kepa, the Nata. Tade, the Kepa, Jejota. All right, cheese wontons. Hell yeah. I cannot wait. I refuse to eat anything else until I get to my parents' house. I'm gonna have some General Tso's chicken. It's gonna be magical. It is a, it is a definitely thing to celebrate. I love food. You know what? I gotta make some dang potions. I forgot. Forget things much more when I'm streaming. Is that just me?
Forget if I already asked you this, but are, are you are you streaming today, comma? I will ask the same questions over and over again sometimes because I am bad with short-term memory. supposed to be I'm supposed to be Oh, it is almost noon. What? Ah, my colleague brought in fish to eat again. How many times do I have to tell her? Sorry, I simply can't. Would you care to deposit or withdraw something? Sure. Are you are you on your main account as well? Comma. Am I saying your name right? Enjoying the hospitality? No, I don't have a guild store. Protect your face. Guild bank. Well, ah, my colleague brought in. All right, where to go now? Ah, uh, way shrine. Just trying to finish out this map here. <laughs> Getting pretty close. Okay, gotta go this way. Well, I don't know, the, the fishing, the fishing always takes forever.
Oh, I'm almost level 30. All right, gonna get this last way shrine here, then I'm probably gonna end so I can go to my parents. Let me pick up a quest. Wait, you there. What do you want? I'm not looking for a fight. Oh, you're a vampire. By my sister, Adusa. She's stuck in Greymore Keep, and I aim to get her out. Simple as that. Now, should I start swinging these axes, or can we talk? Uh, look up. It's hard to miss. Lady Asenia, the Blood Queen, holds court inside. Or at least she did. Apparently she bent the knee to some ancient vampire from the West. She's called on every vampire in Skyrim to join her here and do likewise. That's what we thought. But the vampires who go into the keep never come out. Adusa slipped in with a group of recruits to take a look around. That was days ago. It's been too long. I'm going in after her. I could use a hand. If you're willing. You're a lifesaver, literally, if all goes well. First, we need to find a way into the keep. Greymoor Elite and their death hounds guard the main gate. No use trying a frontal assault. We've got to find another route. A post and door or something. Seems unintuitive, I know. But I've snuck into enough castles to know there's always another route. A post and door if we're lucky. A sewage pipe if we're not. I'm feeling lucky. How about you? If I had to guess, far side of the courtyard. It's a long, open approach. Too many sight lines to breach in a siege. Luckily, no one's expecting us. Plus, the patrols seem to favor that area. Guards need to have something to guard, right? Uh, introductions. Sorry. Uh, if my master could see this, he'd be aghast. Gwendus of House Ravenwatch, at your service. Haven't heard of us? Good. We're the children of Count Verandis. Lord of Ravenwatch Castle. He taught us to control our urges, to use our dark gifts to defend people rather than enslave them. Hardly common knowledge, though. So, mum's the word, eh? Oh, nothing much. Just rumors of arcane cyclones and subterranean castles, that sort of thing. We go where our troublemaking kin go, and our kin are definitely up to trouble here in Skyrim. I just wish there were more of us. He's... I'd rather not speak about that if you don't mind. Let's just say he's very far away. Too far away to be of any help. Not much. Frustrating, right? My sister and I make it our business to know all the major players in vampire circles. Until a few weeks ago, we didn't even know this place existed, let alone who sat on the throne. Frankly, it's a little embarrassing. Well, she's ruthless. 
No surprise there. A cunning alchemist, too. What I find most remarkable is how she's managed to avoid all the scheming and politicking. I haven't heard a single vampire plotting her downfall. That's unusual. Vampires live for conspiracy. It's practically the national sport. Local clans like the Volkahai haven't moved against her, and they've got a lot to gain if she falls. It's weird. And now she capitulates to an outsider? I don't get it. Or clever, but yeah, powerful's more likely. Between you, me, and the stalactites, anyone strong enough to pluck a castle like this out from under a vampire like the Blood Queen is someone I'd just as soon avoid. All right. Let's start with the courtyard. I'll meet you there. Well. Okay. Just gonna go to the way shrine and then we'll uh, we'll do that quest later. do appreciate everybody uh, hanging out today it's helping me uh, make my way to affiliate so yeah hopefully maybe sometime next month after I uh, get all the bad days out of the way I will be able to achieve that I'm sure it'll happen sometime at least <laughs> Mister, out of stamina. I guess I have a horse. I forgot. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna dismiss that for now. Damn, and almost level thirty. So close. Um. Yeah, I guess since there's a couple of you here, uh, let's uh, we can try to read a. Uh, Somebody and help him out. Yeah. Well, Rebellion was in here earlier. So I would like to help him. Make sure I spell that right. S X R Boom. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I spelled it right. Good. <laughs> I'm terrible at spelling. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day.